you know, all kinds of leaves and things to that extent. So we want to clean all that out. And I'm actually going to put some water down there too, because again, we don't want it to catch on fire and welding is hot. We haven't been able to make it to the track, right? So the weather has not cooperated, even though it looks great here today, it did actually rain north where the track is. Um, so we haven't been able to go out and test the Dakota. Uh, however, yesterday, um, I got the video out a little late because my puppy's sick and uh, she's doing better and she's gonna be okay. But uh, we've been kind of dealing with that and I've been a little bit behind. But also yesterday I got to work with my friend Michael and I should have videoed it, but uh, I just kind of want uh, to get it done fast and I didn't realize I would have learned that much. But he came over and put a tool on my uh, truck and I'll show you a picture of it. And we rough aligned the truck. So uh, it's, it's a I'm a lot more comfortable driving it because the wheels are pointing straight now when the steering wheel is straight. So, so that's good. And uh, we actually did some measurements too, and we kind of jacked up the front while it was on that alignment jig. And, uh, you know, we we're worried about some bump steer, and then actually you jack the truck up to where it's, you know, kind of riding down the track. The bump steer is actually, uh, or the, the alignment's actually basically zeroed out, so it's not going to bump steer. So that's good. Anyway, so that's what we did yesterday. Um, if we ever do it again, I will video it uh, because that was a good learning experience. But, I have some other concerns to take care of. I don't feel like I really want to uh, trailer this thing to the track yet. Um, and I don't have enough street miles on it to just try to cannonball two hours to the racetrack. Uh, I'm not I'm not quite there yet. I want to see how it acts on the racetrack before I just drive it there, race it and bring it back. It will happen, but I just, I'm not quite there yet. But this poor trailer is, uh, it, it's worse for wear. So. <laughs> I need to do some things to it. I bought this trailer cheap. It's a wood deck trailer. Um, it's just enough to tow to Dakota. Anything really heavier than this truck doesn't do well on it. And so eventually I'm going to upgrade that. But, um, and I'll show you why. I don't know if you can really see down here. The frame only goes to this first notch here. Um, and then the rest of it is just the box frame. So the, the tongue, I should say, the tongue frame. So. It's just not that well uh, structurally supported. And uh, well, I do want to get a new trailer, but I got to wait a little bit. Um, financially, it's just not the right time for me to dive into something like that. I will eventually, maybe maybe this year, maybe next, we'll see what we, what we find, but I'm ready to fix this one to make it a little bit more reliable. Now, I've driven this, this trailer to Florida and back with the Dakota on it, to Oklahoma and back. Um, no issues. Uh, I actually got good bearings on it. Um, I replaced all that when I bought the trailer. I put brakes on it uh, on all four wheels, um, electric brakes, and all that works great. And it actually tows pretty well, but it's just, it needs attention. So this guy, he's dead. He no longer working. So I need to replace the jack because that's just very inconvenient. And then I don't really have any fantastic spots to uh, tie the truck now. And I'm kind of ready to remedy that. So at least in the front, I'm going to be putting on some D-rings. Um, if I can open the box, for the love of God, what is going on? Wrong way, that's why. There we go. And uh, well, bought a couple of these on Amazon. Here's all the hardware for them. And I think there's supporting plates too. Well, you, you guys get the point. But what my idea was is I'm going to start tying the front end of the truck down by the tire in the front. And we're going to put these guys like right here and be able to tie to that. Use this as a mounting point. So 
that's what uh, I'm planning on doing today. We'll see how much we get done. I gotta vacuum all this out. But before I do a whole lot, um, oh, obviously last part here, I'm gonna replace the fenders because these guys are terrible. They have seen better days. My friend just decided to see if it would hold up against another vehicle and it didn't on the other side. So, so uh, vehicle one, trailer zero. And uh, <laughs> anyway, they're just, it's it's time to take care of these. So I'm gonna be cutting these um, fenders off as well. So that's kind of what I'm gonna work on here. And then um, kind of plan it out from there. So definitely today, at least I wanna get everything cut off, cleaned up and ready to weld. And we'll see if we weld anything today or not. So, all right, here we go. Let's get this jack removed from the frame and then uh, kind of go from there. Just a little, just a little FYI here. I, I've never done this before, uh, which probably is very apparent to people that have, um, but I didn't know that I could just take this off with a snap ring until I looked at it. So this basically goes on here, pull the snap ring off, you can pull that whole thing off. So I was gonna grind all this off and take it off, but I don't think I am now because here is my new jack, trailer jack that is. And uh, well, let me, uh, let me show you all what I got going on. <clears throat> so what I've realized is I can go right here like this without having to do much. The only thing is, do I bolt it or weld it, weld it and bolt it? I do think I'm going to weld it. Um, so I'm not going to cut that front thing off, but I am going to mark this up and I'll show you all how I'm going to do that. It's actually pretty easy. I want... This mount like this, and I'm gonna bring it up here some. And then it's gonna hold itself mostly in place. So that will be easy for me to kind of line up here. And uh, I need to mark it, and then I need to start cleaning some welds. So where did I put my marker? Here we go. I'm going to give an idea where it needs to be so I can clean off these areas. As good as possible. And then I do think I'm going to weld it, but I'm eventually going to go get some bolts too and drill through it. Or I could plug weld it one or the other. Anyway, we'll figure it out. But I, I wanted to show you guys my train of thought here and I think it's going to make sense so now I get to get to cleaning some metal yeehaw Some love back in And quit wasting away By living for the things That I could never change I wanna wake up to see again Open up my mind And let somebody in And quit running away From all those little things That I could never change
I got to give a big thank you to my one of my best friends, Tommy, who every time I weld, I wind up calling him and bugging him to get tips and tricks and stuff like that. And he always helps me out. Thank you, Tommy. Um, so I've still got a lot to learn, but I'm pretty happy with this. So we got it all welded up there. I sent Tommy some pictures that said, would you trust it with a car on it? He said, yes. And if he would, then I'll take it. So it's still really hot. I'm not going to try to put weight on it until it cools off, but really happy with those welds. I'm going to let it cool off here in a little bit and then I'll spray paint all this. And um, yeah, then we'll be good with that. And check this out. So if we uh, pull the lever, fits perfectly not in the way of anything so that's fantastic so my one thing knocked off the list so now i gotta figure out what else i want to do since i have the welder out do i go ahead and put the d-rings in i'm thinking so but before i do i gotta clear out the channels and kind of wet down the wood a little bit just to be safe so i will i'll do that the trailer jack is all done and i went ahead and did some plug welds as well for those bolt holes for some extra strength so i'm happy with that now we're moving on to number two uh, or at least project two on the trailer and that's these d-rings so i'm going to be mounting these about right here so that i have something to tie down to and don't have to go through the bars and things to that extent so that's a little sideways on y'all but <laughs> i'm going to clean all this up so i can get ready to weld that I'm do the same thing the other side. Uh, one thing that I did do though is I came in here with a shot vac and I cleaned out all this debris that I could um, because I'm worried about that stuff getting on fire. So, and uh, I'll show you how bad it was. I'll, we look at the other side. It's you know all kinds of leaves and things to that extent. So we want to clean all that out, and I'm actually going to put some water down there too because again we don't want it to catch on fire. And welding is hot. So let me get this all cleaned up and burn it in. And then uh, I'll show you all the other side quick, too. We'll do a little time lapse on that. And then uh, we'll move to trying to get these, uh, these fenders off. That'll be the last piece there. Well, I've exhausted my grinder. So I think we're done for the day. <laughs> what I mean by that, like cleaning off things, I didn't grind the welds or anything. Let me clarify that. But I was gonna cut the um, fenders off, but that's not gonna happen today. I think we got enough done for now. Um, but the D-rings look good. I just got them painted and everything. They feel like they're not going anywhere, so let's hope they don't. Um, the trailer jack looks pretty awesome. I'm real happy with those welds. I'm happier with these as well as getting the settings better on the um, welder and everything came out fine. Nothing caught on fire. So good with that. This side was pretty difficult, but it looks good, especially painted. Um, so happy about that. So now I have some places to tie down the front of my truck, which has been 
kind of an issue. So happy about that. Um, I'm not doing any other welding as far as D-rings or stuff like that goes, but I will be doing the fenders. However, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, my puppy's sick and uh, she's got a stomach bug, something going on, and uh, I think she's getting better. But I do have to take her back to the vet uh, this week. And that's kind of the priority is sitting with her and watching her. And actually, I'm going to go back in the house and do that now. So I don't know if this is the end or not. You guys will know shortly after this clip if it is or not. Um, and if it is, you know, thanks for hanging out. If it's not, let's get these fenders done. Doing okay? Are you doing better? Hey. She don't want to look at me. You don't want to look at me? She's doing better. She's doing better. She's a little slow, but she's doing better. But uh, just like that, I'm let her in here. Uh, it's another day. <laughs> it's a couple days later. And, uh, well, I decided I at least wanted to try and go ahead and get these fenders off. So that's what I'm going to do this evening and if I get enough chance tomorrow we'll weld them on I don't know if we will or not again it's up in the air uh, but I do think I'm gonna cut these guys off a um, couple things here on the back side it's a uh, barely connected and we want this back piece so I'm actually not gonna do anything with it so with that said I'm gonna try to co come in here and cut this out on both sides because it's going to be kind of difficult to get the grinder down in here to get to the places we need to get to so i'm gonna do my best on that and we'll see what we can come up with and uh yeah wish me luck because it's like 16 gauge steel it's gonna take a little bit of cutting for sure <laughs> Well, I am once again at a stopping point and out of shape still, <laughs> but I got the big, uh, the big pieces off. I've got the small pieces off on this side, which it's funny. It was twice as long to rem remove these two pieces than it was this, if not more. Um, so I still have one more to go, but the battery died. I'm going to learn one of these days to actually buy a battery, an extra battery for the 18 volt. So I still have this guy to get off here, which is, you know, this lower piece. And then a bunch of cleanup to do. But the fenders are here. They're in the back of my truck. Um, I went and grabbed them. And uh, so I can get those ready to put on. Uh, I might have another night tomorrow to get this done. If not, we're probably going to end it off here. And you'll check that out in just a second. But we're making progress. Not much left on this guy to get it back in shape for towing. Beautification, maybe not now, <laughs> maybe later. And that's just going to be painting it all up and stuff like that. But I'm glad to have that these these guys off. They're just wore out, cracked, and a lot thinner than I thought they were. That is some thin metal. But I guess maybe that's by design. So, anyways, all right. Let me let me shut it down, and uh, I'll see y'all when we resume all this stuff. Fender, N new fender, new trailer fender, 72 by nine inches, which is what I measured the other ones out to be. And uh, they're pretty cool. Wasn't too expensive, about a little over a hundred bucks for both. Um, I bought them at a place called, I don't remember. So I'll put it down here at the bottom somewhere. <laughs> but 
they're going to work. However, I'm going to call it on this video because I'm realizing I have a lot of prep work to do. So I kind of put this one in place just to kind of look at it. And I'm realizing that, uh, well, the backs were welded on these and I'm going to have to do some trimming to get everything to fit down on top of this. And it's going to take a little bit of work. And, uh, well, yeah, there's, there's still quite a bit of work to do. Plus, I'm going to have to clean them all out and paint the insides of them. So I got to go get all that stuff to do. So this will be part one, you know, and this is a learning experience to me. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just taking a stab at it, trying to fix this trailer to get me through another season or so of racing. Now that the Dakota's done, right? It wants to go on this trailer and be safe. That, that's what we're after. So I'm super happy that I've got D-rings on it now. I'm super happy that the jack works and I don't have to worry about that for a bit. Um, I did let it sit on the jack overnight, no issue, or actually over two nights, no issue. So I'm happy with that. And yeah, I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna call it. We're gonna come back out here Saturday. I'm gonna finish it up, get it all painted, get it all done and get ready to uh, to drag it to the Dakota to the track whenever, whenever we get the chance to do so when the weather cooperates. But anyway, all right. Well, thanks for coming along. You know, we don't always work on trailers. We hardly ever work on trailers, but sometimes I gotta work on trailers. This is the second time I worked on this trailer after we redecked it. And you can see that video somewhere back. Maybe I'll find it and put it in the comments if you wanna check it out. But uh, it's been a good little trailer. It's been a very affordable trailer and I wanna hang on to it for a little bit longer till I can afford the nice steel deck one that I want. It's gonna be a little bit for me to save up to buy that. So. Let's get this done, but in the meantime, we've got some other things to, to work on. We've really got to get the front suspension going on ramps so we can get it moved around. Brakes on the, on the Nova are coming soon. Um, and big plans for this, I'm not gonna talk about them yet. We're not getting there yet. Uh, big plans for this, maintenance plans, we'll say that. And uh, this guy's kind of ready to go. I've got a. Got a fuel hat for it to put in. So anyways, that's just a little uh, sneak peek of some of the stuff we got coming up. We have a lot of stuff coming on. If you're new to the channel, come hang out with us. Please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you. If you're already subscribed, seriously, I know it's cliche. You guys are the best. Thank you guys so much. We're almost, almost at 5,000 subscribers and that's just wild to me. So. I appreciate every one of you, especially the, the guys that are always commenting. You guys are the best. I love to interact with you guys. Other than that, I'm going to go check on the pup. She's doing better, but she needs some eye. Uh, she needs an eye on her. So I'm going to make sure she's doing okay. Um, but while you're at it, you can check out our social medias, which is at the Racer X Garage on Instagram and Facebook. And we got a couple t-shirts, a hat and a hoodie at racerxgarage.com. So go check it out. All right, y'all have a fantastic weekend. We'll see you next weekend when we get this guy done and maybe get the brakes off of this guy and, and, and start, start, start making some progress, right? That's what I'm trying to do. Have a great weekend. We'll see y'all next time. Until next time, you know the deal. Y'all be good.